Hi, my name is Erin Besh. I am currently a graduate student at the University of Florida in the Masters of Art Education program. Welcome to my unit titled Identity and Art. This video is a brief overview of the unit as well as site navigation. This unit is intended for the advanced painting AP or IB level. This is the home page of the website. As you can see, there are four lessons for the duration of this unit. From here, there's a direct link to each individual lesson. If you scroll to the top of the web page, there is a downloadable PDF of the entire unit. Alternatively, you can click here at the top of the web page to access a unit plan overview. The purpose of this unit is to help students gain a deeper understanding of identity in relation to themselves, art, and society. As a result of this unit, they'll know how to conduct research of artists, refine ideas for art making, write an artist statement, and be able to give and receive constructive criticism during your critique. Scrolling back to the top of the page, you can access the lesson plans by going to the Lessons tab or back to the home page. Throughout the unit, some essential questions or big ideas that students will explore be, what is identity and why is it important? How does an artist's identity influence their work? And how do artists and designers create work of art that effectively communicate to others aspects of identity that the viewer may be unfamiliar with? My main goals for students in this unit is that they should be able to have a clear understanding and self-awareness of their own identity, as well as be able to articulate those ideas aloud and in their work. Additionally, they should be able to analyze other artists' work and speak on how artists communicate in their own identities through their work. Now let's check out one of the lessons and the presentation link associated with it below. This presentation goes over some basic theories in relation to identity from the field of psychology. I felt that by introducing identity in the perspective of psychology to the students would give them a broader vocabulary and challenge them to take a deeper look into themselves. From here, transitions into the main artists of the unit, the first of which is Kim Noble, who has dissociative identity disorder. She has many altars where 14 of them took an interest in painting. So you can see each altar has a different art style. Then moving on to Sydney Sherman, Andy Warhol, Stephen Hannock, Yinka Schoenberg, and Chuck Close. In the next lesson, students will research two to three artists, including one from this presentation, to work towards their final painting. From this lesson, students would go on to create an identity map covering their personal, social, and physical characteristics of their identity. This activity, as well as all other activities throughout the unit, are located in the lessons and in the unit handout tab here. Students will also keep a sketchbook throughout the unit that will serve as a formative assessment throughout the lessons, as well as a summative assessment at the end of the unit. Here they are given a sketchbook checklist as well as the rubric as early as lesson two in order to have a clear understanding of what is expected. This covers the organization, experimentation and artistic process, research on artists, artist statement, and concept drawings for the final piece. For the final project, the students will create a single or short series of paintings that represents their interpretation of identity that incorporates any physical, personal, or social identities that they relate to in a meaningful way, utilizing what they have discussed as a class, their research on artists, and the identity map from the first lesson. After writing an artist statement and participating in a class critique, the unit will end with a student survey that asks what aspects about the unit that students liked or didn't like, whether they felt they gained a deeper understanding of identity in relation to art or their own identity, and if there's anything they would like to have done differently. I hope that through this unit, students can not only develop as artists, but have a better understanding of themselves as an individual. If you would like more information about this unit, please head over to the website linked below. Also, feel free to check out the resources page for more information about artists, 
Psychology Behind Identity, and Art Education Resources. Thanks for watching.